An archive is designed to, to capture the history of a place or of a family, of an organization. The difference between an archive and a museum, for example, museums tend to keep large objects, kind of representative samples. An archive tends to keep all of the nitty gritty, all of the details, all of the minutia, a lot of paper, photographs, journals, notebooks, which makes us a great place for researchers, makes us a great place for faculty and students looking to dig into a particular subject. We have four major collections behind us here. We have the Linfield History Collection, of course, uh, dating back to the 1850s when the school was founded. We also have a Baptist collection, an American Baptist founded college. Also, we have the Good Samaritan School of Nursing collection back there as well. Good Sam became part of Linfield in the 1980s, but it dates back itself into the 1890s. Finally, we have the Oregon Wine History Archive, which is a big part of our collection as well. One of the interesting things about an archive is that it gives you an insight into people's daily lives at the college 100 years ago. Mark and Ada Rich came to McMinnville College, met each other here, and then ended up graduating, becoming the first graduating class of Linfield College after the school was renamed in 1922. Mark was the captain of the baseball team, so this is his Letterman jacket, one of the first Letterman jackets to be from Linfield College rather than McMinnville College. We also have a copy of Mark's senior year grades, Ada's transcript here, giving insight into what school was like, what classes were taken here, and, and how students did in those classes. So the Good Samaritan School of Nursing was founded in 1893, uh, became part of Linfield in the 1980s as our nursing campus. Uh, so we have their collection here as well. One of the things we have in our collection is a good, good number of these nursing capes, as you can see GSH on the lapel for Good Samaritan Hospital. Uh, this actually just came into the archives today, uh, which is kind of a cool reminder that uh, the archives is always growing and always adding materials as people find and donate things to us. We've had a number of students working for us over the years. They work on the collections that we have and they work with donors that we work with. There's an amazing amount of skills that are learned here, a lot of critical thinking, reading, writing, researching um, that carry on to the next chapter of a student's life. For the Linfield University archives, uh, we also are home to the Oregon Wine History Archive and that is the sort of ongoing living project. So we're going out into the wine industry and we were interviewing people as they were making their own history. Because our work is so not in the office, it's so about communicating with people and reaching out and going to those places. I started to just kind of feel like this wasn't a job anymore. It was more about making connections and forging relationships and understanding perspectives that I could then take in and utilize um, and portray through the work that I did. I really had no idea um, about the depth that wine could go, about all the different people in the industry and all the, the countless opportunities that there are, especially in Oregon wine industry and the wine archives really showed me that through all the interviews that we do in the summer and all the different people we can meet and the people who want to come into the archives and just see what we have. The archives is really a special job because not only am I learning a lot of skills, I'm also making connections with people in the industry and learning about their lives and how they did it and the process that they took to get to those jobs. So it's kind of, it's a two pointer because I learn a lot of skills that I'm also making connections and learning from people. I. I loved my work physically in the archives with the different collections and it didn't matter whether it was a wine collection or a Linfield collection. The idea of looking at a set of materials and organizing it into a way that it told a story was something that I never thought I would be interested in, only then for it to become one of my favorite aspects of the job. We've had uh, researchers here from around the world. Uh, we've had researchers here from, from Burgundy, France, from China, from Japan. We've had researchers from, that are local, looking into Oregon history, looking to Yamhill County, McMinnville history, Linfield history, uh, and wine history as well. So we've had photographers, we've had journalists, we've had documentary filmmakers, uh, authors, uh, magazine writers. Uh, all kinds of people have been back here to use the materials we have, to dig in. Um, we are open by appointment to the public, uh, especially as we start hopefully coming out of the pandemic soon. Uh, so we are happy to uh, make arrangements for you to come see the collections uh, if there's something here that interests you.